to talk about what I'm wearing. We're going to talk about the Rurock Atlas 4.0. I had, uh, let's just say, the worst experience. Bought the helmet, got it. It's the wrong. It was the wrong size. I went. I measured like they told me. Looked it up. Verified it on the 4.0 before I ordered it. Like I did a lot of checking before I actually pushed the order button. It said I should have wore a small medium that size for even for the new 4.0. So I'll put the date up on the screen of when I ordered it, when I got it, when I returned it, then when they shipped the second one. It was so bad. I'll I'll put this up in my in my uh, motor vlog here. It was so bad I couldn't even fit it over my head. Like it was that that small. I will say I'm glad to see that in the future US customers like myself won't have to deal with shipping from the UK anymore because Rurock opened a US distribution facility. Finally, finally, after I had this bullshit experience with Rurock and their return policy, and it's just taken forever. I mean, I get it, it's a popular helmet. Let's talk about the replacement 4.0 that I got. It's not a bad helmet, it is it is very nice and light. I like it. Um, the main reason why I got it was because of the looks and because of the dark tinted shield. I gotta have a dark tinted shield because where I live, I ride to work facing the sun. I come home from work, I'm facing the sun. So it can be blinding if I don't have a helmet that can kind of block out the light. The helmet that I'm currently wearing are a Rurock Atlas 4.0 Crimson and the one that I'm currently wearing is a medium large. Now that was the size that I originally wanted to buy but I went nope I did it by their sizing they said it was updated this is what it should be. Never really even wore a, a helmet before this. A few times here and there, like when I go through a helmet state on a trip or something like that, I had just a little half helmet I would throw on. Nothing full face like this. So I never, I didn't have any sizing to go off of for previous helmet experience. So the only thing that I don't like about this helmet is the fitment on my cheeks. Now, <laughs> I know all about the the 3.0 debacle and all that stuff with those super horrible cheek pads that everybody on YouTube talked about. I, but these cheek pads, for me, I don't know if it's because my jaw is wider for my size of the head or what. It's not very comfortable on my on my jowls and I don't really like that. So people said that the Atlas 4.0 is quieter than the Atlas 3.0 and it's quieter than the Shoei RF 1400. I can hear a bunch of wind noise right now in my, I don't know if it's because my helmet right where it's sitting is getting the wind off my windshield but it, or if it's even picking it up on mic but I'm getting a bunch of wind noise through this helmet. So for me, it's not as quiet as I thought it would be. I do have the shockwave installed in here. So I don't know if that's helping, you know, curb some of that sound. All right, so one other negative thing that I, uh, I didn't like about this helmet when I got it, so this helmet is 475 bucks, right? This rear rock is supposed to be a premium helmet, right? Well, when I opened up the box and looked at the finish of the helmet, it wasn't too bad. But you run your hand over that helmet 
and you could feel imperfections in the paint just disappointed for $475 I mean this is a matte finish I get it but I would have thought I would have gotten a better a better product for that price or is it that they're just push trying to push them out so fast to catch up with orders that they their quality is lacking I guess I'm not sure really it is pretty disappointing that for this price point I I mean it's hard to see it's hard to see them but if you run your hand over the helmet you can feel the imperfections 